Good morning friends from Lucknow, India. I'm super excited to be here because all I keep hearing about Lucknow is it's a foodie city. And well, I'm a foodie and I can't wait to go try some Lucknowy food. Lucknow is famous for meat and biryani. Now I was looking for places to eat yesterday. What should we experience while we're in Lucknow? And man, so many places to eat, so many things to try in each place. I need 20 stomachs. I need some of you guys to come along maybe. I don't know. But we're gonna see how much damage we can do. It's gonna be a day of eating and taking you guys around the city. And we are off friends. Welcome to Lucknow city. It's a big city, typical Indian city. We are headed to our first place to eat. So we're looking for some meat on the first place. I believe they're well known for chicken. We're not going too far, even in traffic. Google says eight minutes. But I just want to show you guys what Lucknow looks like. Cool, we get to skip this red light, it seems. Yeah. Out of traffic now, it's so much more peaceful. That's a big old building. It is a historical city, I don't know too much about it. There's a lot of cool old architecture here, which I hope to share with you guys. I believe this is one of the main streets in Lucknow. Tons of shops, uh, proper median, a lot of a lot of advertising and definitely a lot of traffic. Uh, check out that bank, pink and almond color. <laughs> Kind of a neat place, but definitely a lot of traffic. As we continue down the traffic mayhem in India. <laughs> that guy's just coming straight across. We. All right, two minutes from our destination, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, there's a McDonald's on the right there. <laughs> Everything's black and white here. All the signs are black and white. Even McDonald's is black and white. Okay, wow, that didn't take long. There it is, open air restaurant, tons of smoke, which is exactly what we like to see. I just need to find where to park the bike. Fantastic, they let me park the bike right in front of the restaurant. Look at all that, man, it smells so good. Check it out, chicken's on the barbie. Even more chicken. Look at the red chicken in the back there. Wow, that looks good. This is, what is it? Afghani, Afghani. Afghani chicken. Malai tikka. Malai tikka, wow. And Malai tikka, this one? Chicken tangri. Chicken tangri. Tangri, tangri, tangri. Tangri, tangri. I want them all. And what's this one back there? Modati, sanduri. Oh, roasted, roasted, tanduri. Roasted. Wow, okay. Look at that. How are you here? Sorab, sorab. How are you? Sorab. <laughs> it all looks so good. Oh my kurban, god. Kurban, kurban. Kurban, I don't know. I don't know what he's saying, but wow, look at all this. Salman, like. Salman. Salman, oh, I guess his name. Rahman. Rahman, Rahman, Rahman. Rahman. Cool, alright, we're gonna take a closer look and order some food. Man, it smells so good. Check this out. I wonder what this guy's making. Oh, these are kebabs, right? Kebab? Kalar kebab? Uh huh. Shami kebab. Oh my god. Kebabs, wow. So it's a uh, bu mutton, buffalo. Mutton, mutton. Mutton, okay. Some places also do buffalo. The guy's so chill. And it's a really big restaurant. In fact, across the street is also the same restaurant, open air restaurant. Oh, I'm gonna try to decide what to eat and eat it. So I'm trying to get some barbecue chicken and some chicken masala. Small Afghani, small chicken masala. <laughs> so the communication is gonna be a challenge, but we'll get it through. The menu is extensive, they have so many choices. I'm happy that they had chicken masala in a quarter order option. So that's what I got, plus the smallest order for the chicken afghani, which they were really recommending, it looks really good, is half. So half a chicken afghani and a quarter chicken masala. Can you guys see the smoke going around me? Oh my God, my mouth is watering just waiting for the food. Chicken masala has arrived. 
I am not disappointed. Man, it smells insane. So there's chicken in there, and uh, it's completely covered in masala. So we just grabbed a piece of bread. Let's go for the sauce first. Didn't get too much, but I'm sure I'll taste it. Mm, hold on. Mm. <clears throat> it's got a kick. Here we go, friends. The whole thing, chicken loaded with masala, piping hot. Wow. Oh my god. Wow, that is insane. I think you can tell from the fact that every seat in this place is packed and they have continued seating on the other side. It is a popular place. It is piping, piping hot. And the flavor is madness, my friends. Madness. It's like the tangerine chicken, I think, is what is inside. It's so good. And then the masala is, it's just madness. All right, let's dip it in some mint chutney. Don't want to lose my chicken. And here we go. Mmm. Oh, it is madness. Some onion with some mint chutney on it. Oh, no. oh and I still have chicken Afghani coming. The chicken Afghani has arrived, my friends. And we're not going to mess around with this one. Oh, it's piping hot. We're going to go straight in. Oh, man. They're watching me eat. This is insane. Oh, wow. They're watching me. Man, this is so good. So far, very impressed with luck now. The flavors of this place are just out of control. Out of control. And there's no mystery why the masala chicken tastes out of this world. It's crazy flavorful. The real mystery is how do they get barbecue chicken to have so much flavor? It's not just coated with flavor. All the way inside, it's just loaded, loaded. I'm so tender. Mm. They must marinate this quite a long time. And then these are pickled onions and they're delicious. Mm. Wow. I may have to spend more days in uh, Lucknow. Do you ever think barbecue when you think Indian food? They are really good at barbecue. Not just like chicken, but also ground meats, kebabs, always loaded with seasoning. Indian barbecue, friends. Oh, wow. <laughs> friends, that was super good. Let me show you guys these guys again. We had the Afghan chicken. We had the masala chicken. I don't know what they're saying, but they're excited. Oh wow. Oh wow, look at all this. Light, light. Pesauri, Look at this dripping fat. Pesauri. I like it. Super good. Man, amazing. Amazing chicken. No, oh, fish! Fish tikka! Oh, fish tikka! I'll have to come back next time. Fish tikka! I have to admit, I did make a foodie fail. I ordered too much food at the first place. And uh, I'm kind of full, but we're not done eating for today. So don't worry, I'm going to do my best to show you guys more food. So the next thing we can consume after overstuffing ourselves with insanely good chicken is chai. There's a very famous chai place nearby, 800 meters, and we're gonna go get some famous chai, my friends. We are here. Where? We are at Sharma Ji Tea Tea Shop. Very well spoken of, a bazillion reviews. Some people complain it's not what it used to be, but we're here to find out. It's definitely a popular tea shop and a breakfast place. We're not here for breakfast, we're just here for tea. And uh, let's see if we can get a good view of it. Okay, so I figured it out. You drink tea from the outside, it's like a bar. So you can see the tea being made. Yay, 
in the back row. And uh, it seems like what you do is they have a bar-like area set up all around this place. And you kind of hang out at the bar. Here, let me show you the other side. And you order some tea. And then you drink it standing up. Hello. <laughs> All right, so let's try to order some tea. I see a menu, it's all in Hindi. Check that out. <laughs> but you know, chai is universal. I have ordered some chai, I know, surprising. It's a big cup of chai, can you see it? And it's a go cup. Smells good, the color is really nice. You know, not too light, not too watery. Ooh, it's piping hot. Let's take a quick sip. Hey, that's a... Hey, that's pretty good, man. Mm. You can taste the chai part of the chai. Many places you just taste watered-down milk and sugar. You actually taste chai in here, my friends. And it's not too sweet. Wow. Is... Alright, I give it a thumbs up. I don't know. The guy's got fame. I think he makes a good chai. I'd happily drink here again. Right on. 30 rupees for a really good cup of chai. And a big one too. I'd say that was a fair deal at a famous place. I like it. I'd give it a thumbs up. I'd happily go back. Alright. We're all chied up. Now we go take a small tour throughout the city. Let's go. Well, now let's go take a look at the city a bit. I really haven't had a chance yet to see this city. I just arrived and went straight to my place. I really wanted to show this to you, my friends. What a beautiful structure. Look at how gorgeous the architecture is. Uh, that's the gate to the town, the city. And it's beautiful from both sides. Looks completely different. I came through it on the other side a few days ago, I guess two nights ago, and man, it's so impressive. And I wanted to make sure I came here and shared it with you. It is beautiful, man. Wow, it's actually, <laughs> the closer you get, the bigger it looks. It's enormous. And uh, yeah, people, I mean, it's just right there. You drive right through. <laughs> it's still an actual used gate. And then on this side, it just continues on. Very interesting road. Very cool and historic feel, you know? cobblestone all these are electric tuk-tuks that's why you don't hear much really neat a lot of electric tuk-tuks of course you hear the horns honking but you are in India after all we can't not have that as we continue down you can see the beautiful clock tower on the right and wait till you see what's ahead wow this clock tower is actually quite enormous when you're up close to it and I think that's the Chotai Mambara. Unbelievable. This is the first time I think I've seen this structure. Wow. It's, I'm, you just drive right through. Hard to believe this is uh, not blocked off or some <laughs> tourist visiting site with an uh, entry fee. <laughs> nope, there's no entry fee. We just entry. And looks like there's another gate on the other side. Let's see what's in the middle here. Oh wow, this is really cool. It's like a historic market, but still in use. Super, super cool. Wow, I think this uh, Jeep or whatever this is, is as old as this place. <laughs> Let's get through. We've done a complete 180 on the scenery. <laughs> uh, I guess it is still a market area with chickens, a lot of chickens and a lot of chicken eggs. Uh, the atmosphere is pretty cool though with the smoke blowing and uh, you know, it feels like really laid back and uh, rural all of a sudden. I dig it. One thing I actually noticed about Lucknow is there's a lot less English. In a lot of India, all the signs are in English. I mean, they're in Hindi as well, but sometimes they're only in English. And in Lucknow is one of the least English places I've seen so far. Like, look, this sign is entirely in Hindi. 
there's zero English on that sign and I dig it really makes you feel like you're traveling you know of course I had to show you this view of this entrance this is so incredible it's huge and we're just gonna get closer and closer to it and I think you'll get a real idea of how huge it really is it's been here a long time and man it looks brand new such such a beautiful structure and in such good condition wow here we go there it is now that's a bus so if you want to get an idea of how big this place is that's a bus <laughs> wow still hard to believe you can just drive into this <laughs> unbelievable I am taking you to a secret place friends <laughs> let's see if it's open let's get in first and see what happens next stop on our gastronomical tour is Malai Makan check this out check that out it's beautiful Malai Makan so this is 30 rupees and then the full one, double the size I guess is 60. All I know about it is it's sweet cream or milk cream. That's all I need to know. Look at that. Alright, time for a taste test. It's so puffy. It's puff. mm. I think there's saffron or cardamom in there. Oh, that's really good. And they even put like Silver, you see the thing of silver? Well, I'll show you here. That's real silver, uh, beyond paper thin, obviously, and uh, you can actually eat it. So, there we go. Mm. Oh, this is so good. It's just puff. Mm. I might have to get more, man, with the silver on it. You will try one. You have a YouTube Hello. channel? Uh, yes. Go, so this is the most famous Makan Malai. It is really good. It's, it's really good and it's made in the day only. Oh, okay. Yeah, so where are you from? I'm from the US. Hold on. I'm, I'm left. So meet him. He also has a YouTube channel. He's my younger son. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh, great. Nice, nice to meet you, I mean. Very nice this, to meet you. This is made in the morning, you know. In the okay. morning hour is when it is cold. So that's how you know the butter come out of it and this is how it is yeah butter is actually a good way to describe yeah. it it's like foamy butter yes but cream yeah. and so like cardamom it's right cardamom it's called it's called cardamom cardamom. <laughs> as a seasoning as a seasoning yeah, so so cardamom and uh, zafran is for the seasoning part yeah, that's really yeah. good good enjoy your meal thank you I will. thank you nice what's, what's your channel Oh, it's my name is Raman. Raman. And my channel is Sincerely Raman. Sincerely Raman. So nice and easy. Uh -huh. Great, nice to meet you all the best. Do subscribe to Raman, he's a great guy. <laughs> yeah, all the best. Thank, Thank you, Happy Diwali. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the explanation. Thank you, Diwali. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you guys. So good. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have a second one, but I'm going to finish this one first. <laughs> Pro tip do not get the half order, get the full order. I'm going to order some more. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's okay. This one. Oh, he's pretty. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, okay, no problem. Hello. Hello, bye, bye. <laughs> Thank you. Really good. Amazingly good. Seriously, wow. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. <laughs> Do not get a half order. Get double order. Next stop is Idris Biryani. They're not even open yet and there's already people standing around waiting uh, for it to open. Uh, Google said it was going to open at 4 and uh, I've read some comments that they sell out. So I thought I'd get here early but there's people waiting. Uh, it's not the best place in the world. Right under the overpass highway. Hence all the horn honking. I hope you can hear me. <laughs> but yeah. Definitely a popular biryani place here in Lucknow. Did not want to miss it. We're gonna get some biryani. I think they may have started pushing out some takeaway boxes. I think we can get a biryani pretty soon. Here. Man, it smells insane. This is a tiny dining hall or you can eat outside 
I got my biryani. It's piping hot. It smells insane. Oh my god. And then they also give you some onions. Fine. And then uh, this gravy. No idea. Let's try the biryani straight up first. People apparently come here just for this. The rice isn't insanely seasoned, but it's very buttery. I'm going to try a bite of the mutton. Oh, wow. Piping hot. Mm. The meat is where it's at. And I think maybe once I add the um, gravy, let's try the gravy straight up. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. <clears throat> That's where the seasoning is. I'm going to dip rice in the gravy and... Mmm! Oh yeah. So my neighbors have been uh, pouring this on the rice. That's what we're going to do. Yeah. Wow, that really tips it up. Mmm! So, heavily seasoned mutton. Lightly seasoned rice and heavily seasoned gravy is what you got. So all together, heavily seasoned. <laughs> really good. It's a really nice biryani. I wouldn't say it's the best I've ever had. A really high quality. Really good. It was 150 for this small single serving plenty. Really good. It's just biryani. In luck now, my friends. Nothing to see here, folks. Just your average afternoon traffic in a city in India. In this case, it's Lucknow, but any city is like this. It's amazing we get anywhere. <laughs> but slowly, we get there. Oh, this is fun. Oh, that bicycle dude's in a hurry. He actually hit my leg. And the brave guy is the guy walking across all that. <laughs> it's the next morning. It got dark, so I thought I'd record this today. So I hope you enjoyed that little look around Lucknow and a few food places that we were able to visit. I will say Lucknow definitely seems like a foodie city. There's a hundred other places I have on the list. I wish I could stay longer. I hope you guys enjoyed this look of uh, Lucknow. Uh, I think it's a great city. I wouldn't skip it if it's on your way. And definitely if you come, eat and eat and eat, as I try to do. I also ate at a couple other places that I didn't get to vlog. Um, Kareem's, very famous here, as well as Tindai Kebabi, which, to be honest, for me was way too salty. And I did go to the original one. Um, but everything else has been really good. I hope you guys like this vlog. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. From here on out, we're gonna go to the Seven Sisters, Northeast India. I've always wanted to go there for years. So make sure you guys have subscribed so that you can join me on the adventures coming up. Thanks again, see you guys on the next one.